The strain on the health care system in the province over the last couple of years has proven the need to do more to boost it up. And so the Ford government had been criticized for not providing enough support. Now a pre-election promise to provide the opportunity for more doctors to be trained in the province. We're training the next generation of world-class health professionals and making sure that we are providing the opportunities for more women and men to get the schooling they need to become the doctors of tomorrow. Medical schools in Ontario will soon be getting an influx of new students with the announcement that 160 undergraduate seats and 295 residency positions will be added over the next five years. Premier Ford calling it the largest expansion in more than a decade. Ontario's doctors are some of the finest in the entire world. We have seen that proven every day over the last two years. With this investment, we're supporting more students to take the path to becoming a doctor and creating the family doctors and specialists that will take care of us in the years to come. All six existing medical schools in Ontario will see an increase in the number of allocated positions. Today's announcement also comes with the approval for Ryerson University's new medical school in Brampton, expected to open in 2025. I think there is a need definitely for more uh, medical doctors in the province. We have seen it with the pandemic. Uh, the pressure on, uh, on um, health care providers, it's, it's very evident. So there is a, a need for government, not only in Ontario, but I think in Canada to really to invest in this. Calls for the province to invest in the training and education of future physicians have grown while health care professionals have been working nonstop during the COVID pandemic. The medical community says it's much needed now more than ever. How will it change everything in the province as a result? Well, every little bit helps. And what we know about this announcement today is that it's not only just an increase in the medical school enrollment, which is medical students, but it's also an increase in the residency spots that are important to come along with, which means that those medical students can actually train to become licensed and independently trained physicians. It's estimated that there are approximately 1 million people in the province of Ontario without access to a family doctor right now. With these investments, we're putting the health of Ontarians first and building a stronger health care system for the years to come. Now, also of note from today's press conference, amid speculation that Ford himself may be jumping into the federal conservative leadership race, he was asked today if he or any conservative MPPs will be offering support to the candidates as they battle it out for the party's top spot, and he abruptly said that wasn't going to happen.